When I was in fifth grade, I had a best friend. At the time, exercising spells were popular, and all you needed to do was chant something. They said that your hands would raise without you trying to do it, and the spirits around you were the ones who were doing it. We were curious, so we watched the other kids do it, and my best friend asked me to perform the spell on her and see if it really worked. I refused at first because I was scared something bad would happen to her, but she insisted, and then we went to do it. I chanted the spells in a loud voice and was laughing because nothing even happened, saying it was fake and made up. But a few seconds after, my friend's hair started to rise. But what was really weird was it rose up like something was holding her hair. To explain how it really looked, the hair was raised but at only halfway down the length of the hair, which meant the hair was bending like someone's finger was holding it. We didn't notice it at first, but one of our classmates yelled, Your hair! And we looked at it ourselves, and I was really shocked to see it in front of my eyes. I was really scared, so then all of us ran inside our classrooms and my best friend kept crying. The next day, she said she had nightmares and she got cuts on her arms like scratches from something sharp. It was really creepy, and to this day when we talk about it, We still wonder what happened that time. When I was in the seventh grade, I had to call my dad, but because I'd left my phone at home, I couldn't call him. So I borrowed my friend's phone to call my phone and figured my dad should pick it up because that day my dad was on a work break. Hello, dad, I said. And then someone in the phone answered, hello. I hung up the phone immediately because the person in the phone call sounded exactly like me. Three days later, I was sick and did not go to school because of that. And I got a call on my phone, so I picked it up. Hello, Dad? I was surprised and turned off my phone after that. The person in the phone call sounded exactly like me again, and those were the words I'd said three days ago. I was scared, but didn't tell anyone except my friends, and when I told them, they wouldn't believe me. So, who was that on the phone with me?